what's going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today we've got for you guys is some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news and information. Now in today's video we are indeed going to be covering some DLC specialist characters that are apparently coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So first of all I do want to say thank you ever so much for 50,000 subscribers. That's an insane number and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm not going to do any special video or anything like that. I just want to tell you guys thank you ever so much. I'm now we're just going to get into the video so of course the sauce is the same sauce that I've used for nearly over a year now which is incredible and he provided me with a word document in which contains a lot of different pieces of information in regards to Black Ops 3 DLC and he's also confirmed that in the next couple of months he will also provide me with some Infinity Ward information in regards to their next Call of Duty title so hopefully that information comes soon and I'll let you guys know all of that as soon as possible also guys let's try and hit 500 likes on this video and of course I'll upload the next video in which is going to be in regards to zombies but Anyway guys, let's get into it. So the specialist characters, due to specialist character names, abilities and weapons constantly changing, I've decided it would be best to leave these out. Instead, I've decided it would be best to give a description on each of these as best as possible and include the names if I feel confident that they will make it into the game. Note, as mentioned before, all characters, abilities and weapons may not make it into the final game. So specialist character number one, the character description. She's going to be a female and the description reads Orphaned girl trains as a competitive accuracy shooter and signs up to become one of the military's best snipers. Unknown to science, her ability to use her anger from the death of her parents makes her the best shooter in the world. Her ability is going to be something called Bullseye, which means an immense aim assist accuracy increased for a short duration, and her weapon is going to be an anti-aircraft sniper, which is apparently going to blow off limbs and increased aim assist. So that sounds incredible. Straight away, we're just jumping in with a character there that has two brand new abilities slash weapons that we've never heard of before, and she sounds insane. Hopefully, she will make it into the game. Character number two, character description, male, no prosthetics. Decided that warfare technology has gone too far and uses magnetic fields to destroy, disable and cause havoc with military shooters and equipment. His ability is going to be something called Magnetize, which is a huge magnetic field that causes enemies to lose weapons that they have equipped in hand. Weapons can be picked up within a close proximity of the player, and player using Magnetize will show up on the minimap just like when users use Vision Pulse. So that sounds very interesting. It sounds like it could be potentially overpowered. It'll just depend on where the weapons are going to end up, if they're going to end up you know, across the map or very close to the player. Apparently it's going to stay close to the player, but you're just going to drop it, so you might need to switch to a secondary weapon. Weapon, which sounds very interesting indeed. His weapon is going to be a one-shot railgun with a slight charge delay and contains currently 10 bullets. So that sounds interesting. It sounds like it could be a mix between the Tempest and the Annihilator maybe. Sounds like an assault rifle. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out. But moving into character number three. Character description male, which is going to be Rick Toff, an ability which will be called Zombified, which sounds interesting, uses element 115 to create a gas formula that explodes and reduces movement speed to nearby enemies, drastically slowing them down. So that sounds very interesting. It's going to be interesting how that plays out. And his weapon is, of course, going to be the ray gun, which will contain 20 bullets, two shots to kill, a slight splash damage, and the same fire rate as the ray gun within zombies. So I did actually do a prediction video on this a couple of months ago and it's pretty cool that it could be potentially coming to the game of course none of this information is confirmed or legitimate I do want to say that please do take this information with a grain of salt. Next character, which is going to be a male, is going to be a crazy scientist. The ability is going to be get all perks within the game for a short duration, which is activated by the player animation drinking a portion, which sounds pretty cool. His weapon is going to be a plasma cannon, which shoots a high volatile plasma ammo, 4 to 5 bullets, highly accurate, slight splash damage, one shot kill. So that sounds pretty interesting. Character number 5, I think we're on now. Maybe 6, I think we're on 5. Character description, female, expert in chemical warfare. Ability which will be blindness, causes nearby enemies to get temporary blindness for a short duration, which is caused by some kind of gas cloud. The weapon of choice will be a Nova gas grenade launcher, which... 
can hold down key objectives and create an impenetrable gas cloud for a short duration. You're going to get four bullets and it looks like the China Lake from Call of Duty Black Ops 1 apparently. So this one sounds pretty interesting. I think this would be incredibly useful in game modes such as Hardpoint where you could potentially just shoot, uh, you know, Nova Gas gas clouds at certain parts of doorways and windows so you can hold down the hard point a little bit longer that's going to be cool and it'll be interesting to see if you can just go through the nova gas and you're going to die straight away or if it's going to be like black ops 1 where it's going to kind of reduce your health uh, every kind of second or whatever it is within black ops 1 so character number six Character description, male, experiments gone wrong. This character is the biggest and baddest of them all and looks almost like Frankenstein with huge scars across his head and body. His ability is going to be something called range, which is an intense rage, causes screen to go black and white and highlights enemy players in thermal vision and player also receives reduced flint. So it seems like you're going to uh, turn into some kind of Hulk type monster or something like that where essentially the screen's just going to go black black and white, everyone's going to be highlighted on the enemy team in thermal vision and of course you're going to have reduced flinch which could possibly be toughness from Black Ops 2 or something like that in the form of an ability which sounds very cool indeed. His weapon is going to be a huge shotgun that fires small grenade type pellets causing a massive explosive radius, which sounds incredible. And this is only going to contain one bullet. Of course, if, if, if it did contain three or four bullets, it would be highly overpowered. But this sounds pretty cool. I think that it would be essentially the gravity spikes, but in form of a weapon, if that makes sense. That's going to be interesting to see how that one's going to play out, potentially overpowered once again. Character description number seven is going to be a male water is this character's strongest suit, opposite to fire breaking, which he's put in in brackets there. His ability is going to be water thrusters which is going to allow players to boost at incredible speed for a short duration with his water thrusters. Incredibly useful for getting out of tight situations and also catching enemies off guard. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I originally read this, I thought it was going to be same to the overdrive ability, so I'm not sure if he's kind of worded it wrong or something like that. Are you going to be able to thrust upwards or thrust just away, or are you going to be essentially having another overdrive ability that's just going to look a lot better with kind of, you know, water at the back of him with these kind of jetpack-like thrusters? I'm not entirely sure if this is wrong or not. I might actually ask him about this because it does seem a little bit weird. But then and again, it could be what I'm thinking where you're potentially boosting up in the air or boosting left, right and centre. I'm not entirely sure. But his weapon is going to be a high pressurised water cannon with immense range. He's put damage and accuracy is lost over range and the water disperses. So, of course, with the water dispersing at that range, I guess that it's going to lose range and it's going to lose accuracy and it's going to lose damage which of course sounds uh, very uh, kind of predictable in the sense of a water cannon or something like that. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I think we've got seven characters in all, which means that we could potentially be getting them all as a part of micro DLCs. I mean, of course, we could get two for each DLC or something like that, uh, with one only coming as one DLC. Or we could get one as each DLC and then some as micro DLC. Or of course, a lot of these might not even make it into the game. And of course, all of these might not even make it into the game if they decide specialist characters is not going to be implemented. I think that honestly, specialist characters characters will be made into the game as DLC and of course micro DLC. I honestly think that Treyarch thought that the multiplayer side of the game was going to get very attached to these specialist characters in the sense that we was just going to get more attached, we was going to basically enjoy the specialist characters a lot more than we already do and I honestly think that now they are thinking of implementing specialist DLC. I mean of course it is another way of making revenue for the game and of course, it's just adding some more of that fun fact to the, to the game. It just depends on, honestly, how many of those they do decide to add each kind of uh, DLC or each micro DLC. Maybe they're going to add, uh, for example, uh, 10 micro DLC map packs for each the duration. And each time they're going to add a character DLC, a weapon DLC, uh, cosmetic items, camos and stuff like that. It's very, very interesting indeed, and I think that there is definitely a plausibility for the fact that we will be getting specialist characters into the game. I guess it's just a case of waiting for Treyarch to announce it, because of course until then we're not going to get any true information as such. But 
Like I said, all you need to do is leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. Once this video gets to 500 likes, I'm going to finish off this mini-series that I've been doing with, of course, some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC information, which I promise you guys you will not want to miss. I think that this one was the more kind of uh, out there kind of video in regards to DLC and stuff like that. I think that there's every possibility of specialist character DLCs. We've just got to wait for it, like I said. But anyway, guys, that is going to be pretty much it from me. I've been Long Sensation. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.